Hello there and welcome to today's episode of my program. My name is Tracy Dapa, your favorite speaker, author, coach, mentor, teacher. Yes, it's good to be here. So I hope we're doing well and I hope the week has started on a very good note. So um, just to share a few tips, we've been on a series since the year began. <clears throat> we shared the perspectives of two leaders, Miles Moro and Zig Ziglar. And Miles Moro's perspective was that of time management. He said, if you can be an effective manager of your time, then you have a lot of stuff within your control and you can easily win and <clears throat> achieve your goals. On the other hand, Zig Ziglar said, if you can be an effective manager of change, then you are set and you are really ready to win. Okay, so um, today I want to focus on Zig Ziglar's perspective of change management. I'd like to remind us that change um, sometimes is positive, sometimes can be negative. But however, whether a positive change or a negative change, the point is, how are you able to manage it? How are you able to move on despite the change you're experiencing, either as a recipient of change or the change you are about to implement as an implementer of change? Okay, good. So, um, again, to share um, the lyrics of a song, I think by John Wesley, the, the song titled It Is Well, he said, When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrow like seas below's roll. So look at it comparatively. <clears throat> you have peace like a river. You have sorrow like a sea. Peace and sorrow, they depict positive, negative. But the landing of the song is, whatever is my lot, I've learned to say it as well. That's a very positive and optimistic way to embrace change. I really love that. Look at the man called Job in the Bible who experienced some uninteresting times, you know, amidst the good experiences he, he had had in life. It was so bad we know the story. Some of us know the story. If you don't know the story, please feel free to go <coughs> look up the story of Job. And the Bible is a Bible story. And at some point, his family said, his wife specifically said, why don't you just curse God and die? More like, you're just suffering, things aren't working. It's, it's such it's such in a bad place, you know, so what's the point? But in spite of it all he held on he was positive He had his hopes high Whether or not things were physically working around him. So that's what I want to say to you today Have your hope up there. Don't give up. Don't slack. Don't throw in the towel Have every reason to tell yourself. I'm going to adjust I'm going to adapt and I will move on. And that's what change management is all about. Things don't have to be so fantastic for you to have all the positive energy. Learn to learn or train yourself to embrace change even when things aren't well. Outside of funny, not funny, but a real example. So um, sadly, I lost my mom. Um, almost 10 years ago, I was pretty young, very young, and of course, I was never married at the time. So when this whole sad event occurred, it was it was devastating. It was very devastating. So I miss the crying, the sorrowful, you know. But a, a, a time came when I realized you're just sitting back there and crying, 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 feeling bad, 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 wallowing in self-pity, really wasn't an answer to anything it wouldn't put food on your table it wouldn't help you move on to your next step so i had to make a resolve console myself and thanks for the scriptures there's some interesting scriptures that say even when you weep when you fail and you weep when you're in those kind of situations don't weep or cry like people who don't have hope that's what the bible says it says cry like people who have hope because of course you're human you will cry but put yourself back together and then go back and face your goal. So I hope that was elevating. I hope that encouraged someone out there. Change managers, management is important and how you choose to embrace change will determine how far you will go this year. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for listening. But before you go, I would like to tell you that a program is coming, a new program called 
make it plain with Tracy will be having this official launch and release on the 1st of February. You invited? Stay tuned, check me out and don't miss the official launch of this series of sharing life's principles, concepts, you know, procedures, strategies, methodologies, you know, make it plain, make it plain. The Bible said in Habakkuk 2 verse 3, that make the vision plain, write it down. So whoever sees it, just like I come into your house and I stumble on the document on your dining table and I flip through the pages, hmm, it's clear. What has been documented is so clear. That's the vision. It's plain, it's clear. And whoever finds it has an understanding, can pick it up and can run with it. So that's the dimension we're going to be going on this year. We've already started. We've been sharing lots of principles, strategies, concepts. We've talked about time management. We've talked about change management. We've talked about strategy. we talked about rest even in December. And so a lot more will be coming your way. Thanks and stay tuned. I love you. Tracy Dapper. See you again next week. Jesus.